So any for you for this. It's Roscoe Soul Train Show. And I'ma do what I want. Because I'm free. So come on, mama. Take a seat, because we about ready to have a good time. You know you want to. <laughs> Hey, how you doing folks? It's Roscoe. Today I'm gonna take you on a little trip from Sebastopol and then we're headed to Katadi. The first thing that we're gonna see today is I'm gonna show you the old Foster Freeze. This place is in real bad shape. They're doing all kinds of different construction around this place, as you can see behind me, and there's like a little homeless camp going on. This Foster Freeze is really, really bad. And it's so neat because the sign's still up and a lot of the old lettering on the side is still there. It's so cool. So I'm gonna give you kind of a more in-depth look at the way this one looks. So uh, yeah, let's go check out the Foster Freeze, woohoo! Wow, this building's a lot worse off than I actually thought. I knew it was bad, but I didn't realize it was this bad. But the tile is all original and all this. I mean, this place could be a great diner if somebody took it over. Unfortunately, a lot of the building laws in California are so strict that I'm sure this building would have to go through a massive retrofit. So it's actually cheaper for them to let it just fall to the ground and demolished rather than repair the building into something very cool and vintage. And I, I'm really disappointed that they, they can't do anything with this place. But we're gonna head to another really weird, strange place that's on the side of the road. The same road as this in Katadi. It's called Red's Recovery Room. And it was in a Tom Waits song. I can't remember the name of the song. I'll look it up and put it in the video. It's this weird old abandoned bar. So uh, let's head to Katadi and go check that out. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, so with the power of magic, I made it to Katadi. The, uh, this whole stretch over here on 116 is all uh, abandoned. There's abandoned houses, there's abandoned um, garages, there's Red's recovery room, there's a whole other section. This place is beat up, there really isn't any signage. Red's recovery room was that kind of bar that you always wanted to go into, but you were always so afraid to go in there because it was so, it's, I mean, you'll see from the outside, this place is the definition of a dumpy dive bar. One time I saw some filming going on outside. I don't know what they were filming, but I'm sure it was obviously a dive bar thing. I, I was assuming it was probably a commercial or something. If I can find a link or whatever to that, I will put it down below. Uh, subscribe, share, do the thing and the other thing, and let's check out Red's recovery room. Let's go!
Wow, Red's recovery room. What a trip to see this place in such bad shape. I mean, it really was never in any good shape, but it's it's uh, definitely fallen to pieces. I'm sure the inside is even worse. I wonder what's even still left in there. I'm sure that the people that ran the place and the regulars took a lot of the stuff that was in there. But needless to say, it's a pretty cool looking building from the outside and Foster Freeze in Sebastopol, that is even, that's even worse because it looks like they just stopped working and that was it. I mean, they didn't, there was no, sorry, we're closed for good, nothing on the doors. It just was like one day they were there and the next day they were gone. It's anyway, folks. <laughs> oh man, so. So I will see you guys later and remember to be kind and rewind. Peace, y'all. Shoot. You're a sandwich.